with Iwan Oz, is head of uh, regional economic integration at the ADB, for some final thoughts on development of the credit markets here. Um, talk to me about the, uh, you know, every day there's a headline that says something about dim sum bonds. And, uh, you know, recently it was detailed that uh, they were going, you know, there, there, there is now a conduit or there is a pipeline for uh, reversion of offshore yuan to get back into the Chinese markets. I know it's part of the ongoing experiment, but I'm kind of wondering from your perspective whether uh, this is uh, going right along the correct path or whether they're maybe pulling out the stops and going beyond the borders that they should. Yeah, we are of the opinion that this trend will continue. In yeah. fact, it's just a matter of time. You know, many people always ask us, you know, whether the regionalization or internationalization of Yuan will take place. And our argument is that it will. It's just a matter of how fast is the speed because that depends on what is the policies of the government, uh, the PRC government. But, you know, if you're talking about the second largest economy in the world, it's just, you know, you don't need to, to be rocket scientists to expect that the currency will become regional, regional right. currency or international currency. We're seeing a bit of a divergence in the development of the markets here. Some of, your, uh, some of the highlights of your findings, and of course, uh, as I mentioned, we'll get the full report uh, tomorrow. Fastest growing local currency bond markets in the uh, second quarter, Vietnam, Singapore, Malaysia, uh, anywhere between uh, close to four, upwards of five percent. Other than Vietnam, Singapore, the Philippines, and Malaysia, all other government sector bond markets actually shrank or grew at very tepid rates. What is, it, what is the reason for that? Well, this is something to do with the, the stimulus package during the crisis that government needs a lot of financing and that's why they issue a lot of bonds. But now that they started to withdraw from the stimulus package, so the need for the additional extra fund uh, from the government side is becoming less. Mm -hmm. Now, for countries like Malaysia and Vietnam, they still need a lot of this. And that's why you can see that the government bonds in those two countries are still increasing. If I can bring in for a second here external factors, as we were talking about at the very beginning of this, uh, of this hour's programming, um, the amount of dissent or the level of dissent within the United States Federal Reserve mm -hmm. is at an all-time high. So you've got basically a very polarized uh, stance on what is the right prescription, easy money, okay. you know, uh, as Bernanke has ordered n until the, at least 2013, middle of 2013. Others saying that, you know, you wait long enough and you let the inflation monster brew long enough and you're going to have a bigger problem than you could possibly contain down the road. Uh, how do, you know, how is that impacting issuance here uh, in, in Asia? And maybe some, some specific thoughts on the priority within the Federal Reserve. I still believe that capital inflows, that because the, the immediate effect of what's going on in the U.S. is really on capital inflows mm -hmm. coming to the region. And I still believe that this will, at least for another five years, will be still massive coming to the region. Mm -hmm. And in terms of the searching for the safe haven, right. it's really Asia is one of the uh, target destinations. Yeah. And in terms of the instrument, it's bonds market. It's long, long term money, though? Yes, long term. As money? I, exactly. We've had I, problems in the past with the skittish money, you know, kind of going zip, yeah. zip like that, which doesn't but, help us at all. This time is a bit different. And mm -hmm. as I said earlier, uh, you know, if you look at the maturity of the bonds in the region, it's right. moving towards long term. And this is very important, very, very important because Asia needs a lot of infrastructure financing, mm -hmm. and yet Asia has a lot of excess liquidity. Yeah. But this excess liquidity going to the Europe You're and the US. Right. You're yeah. absolutely right. How to mobilize that, exactly. to keep it home, and uh, to build for the people who create the capital. Right. Elon, pleasure talking to you, sir. Thank you. All right. And we're looking forward to, the, of course, the uh, bond outlook uh, formal release.